Oh! Look who's here! I haven't heard from you in a while. What brings you to the city? Is there something going on I should know about? <laughs> oh, don't look at me like that. Really, though, I'm glad you couldn't make it. Can't stay separated for too long, can we? <sighs> the winds will always bring us back to one another. I'm glad. I like you, and so does everyone else here. You hardly talk to anyone, but you still manage to have this inviting aura. It's uniquely you. So, did you want to grab a drink? It's a lot easier to chat when you aren't so tense. I noticed you seemed a little off during the performance. You can tell me all about it. A social problem, huh? Well, I'm sure we can do something about that. I might not be able to offer you any solid advice on what to do, but I can try to make you feel better about the whole thing. That settles it then! Drinks on me tonight. Now, what's the matter? Ah, it's that kind of problem, huh? Well, to me sounds like you aren't at fault. Nobody is. If anything, that's a wound that needs time. Sometimes, relationships don't work out, and that can hurt people. They might lash out, or grow cold and distant. When those things happen, it's not up to you to make them feel better. Can I say something that might make you a little uncomfortable? I know bringing up examples won't bring the most warm, cozy feeling, but sometimes you just need someone to put it in perspective. You don't mind? Alright! Well, how do I start? Simple is best. You dated almost every member of the band at some point or another, right? Even if it wasn't official, it still happened. Some of them are alright with letting bygones be bygones, but others... Well, I'm sure you can tell what songs are about you. I thought it was funny at first. They didn't know each other, but they bonded over learning about their... vested interest. Watching them get along was nice, but I felt bad every time they started talking about you. I thought, I know them too, but the version of you they talk about is different from the one I see now. Regardless of the drama, you've mellowed out since university, haven't you? <laughs> Bashful as always. Really though, it's shocking. Every time we introduce a new band member, we find out you're a common link. They joke a lot about you being the one who brought us all together. You sure do have a type, don't you? The lonely artist, misunderstood musician type. <laughs> I can admire it. Still, it can cause issues when you realize how small the world really is. I feel left out sometimes. They know you on a more intimate level than I do, so I can't offer them any advice or understand how they feel. Not that my advice would be of any use regardless. Compared to me, they take more immature standings. You're all so young, with your whole lives ahead of you. To them, this whole thing feels like a fresh burn. One that won't heal if they keep agitating it by making you their topic of conversation. Only a couple of them have learned that, but... One still writes songs about you and the other one won't talk at all if you aren't mentioned. So, who knows what they really learned. <sighs> At least you know you're popular? But like I said, that's their own doing. Everyone processes things differently. It isn't your fault if they end up taking longer than others. So, instead of worrying about all that, why don't you tell me how you're handling all this? I doubt you expected to see that many people you knew all at once when you heard my band was performing. I solemnly swear I did not do that on purpose. <laughs> I guess you just attract good musicians. Myself included. It takes an artist to know one. And you, my friend, are very talented. I'm proud to have met you, and even prouder you consider me wise enough to confide in. If you need anything, feel free to ask. 
Speaking of, what did you want to drink? Hmm? Alright. You can take your time to organize your thoughts while we wait for those then. Ah, here we are. Looks like they did a good job. I've actually never been to a bar in this city. I don't quite get along with the higher-ups here, so after a show, I move on pretty quick. But since you were around, I thought it was worth giving it a try. No one stirred up any trouble with me, so it was definitely worth it. Maybe I'll treat everyone to drinks after the next show, too. Always excited to spend time with you all. Have you had enough time to get your feelings together? I'm all ears. Hmm. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. <sighs> I understand. Your feelings are valid, I can tell you that much. It might be difficult to think that when your own feelings hurt others. But you need to understand something I learned long ago. Other people are not your responsibility. Something you think may make someone else feel sad, but you need to know how you'd feel about it if you didn't act on it. It's not always wrong to put yourself first, whether it's a breakup, a falling out, or even a simple fact. If someone's breath stank, would you kiss them? Exactly! Think of everyone else's baggage as stinky breath. They might be sad you didn't get to first base, but it's better for both of you in the end. You dodge a bullet, and they learn to brush their teeth next time. Every experience is a learning experience. If it involves two people, two people learn. The only difference is the pace they go about it. Eventually, you'll all get so far over it that you'll be able to hang out in a room together. They accepted your request to stay. Separate from each other when they come around. You won't be approached by any large groups, at least. That alone should be a sign that no one is really angry at you. If they were, they'd want you to be uncomfortable. At the end of the day, we're all mature adults. Doesn't matter how young or old we are on the scale, maturity comes with experience. And you all have experienced a lot. Why don't we talk about something like that next time, yeah? All this chatter has made me want to get to know you better. Speaking of next time, I was planning a little get-together before the next show. How would you feel about some exposure therapy? <laughs> I'm joking. Realistically, we'll be the only two talking. I set up some bonding activities for the guys, so they'll be plenty busy. Maybe you'll get some time alone with them after, though? I'm not saying you gotta, but if the thought crosses your mind, it is an opportunity for closure. You're my best bud. I want to make sure you're as comfy with yourself as you can get. Alright? <laughs> Great. Alright then, let me just get the details and... <laughs>